Welcome class of 2025. My name is Jennifer Todd and I'm the Director of Counseling for Keller ISD. I'm excited to speak with you all about four-year planning and graduation requirements. Let's get started. Keller ISD graduation requirements for the class of 2025. Keller ISD has multiple graduation plans. However, we ask that our students in Keller ISD start off with the foundation with the endorsement plan, which is a total of 26 credits or more. There is the foundation of the plan, which is 22 credits, and that makes up the core of the high school diploma program. In order for a student to earn an endorsement, students must earn an additional four credits. An endorsement is a related series of courses that are grouped together by interest or skill set. And we will talk about different endorsements later on in the presentation as well. Now I said that we start off on the foundation with endorsement graduation plan. We also classify our students as distinguished level of achievement, which means that the student completes the foundation with the endorsement plan, a fourth science, and a fourth math. However, one of those math courses must be Algebra 2. And that's essentially what places students on the Distinguished Level of Achievement Plan. Now this plan is extremely important because the Distinguished Level of Achievement Plan is required to be eligible for automatic top 10% college admission and state financial aid. And we do encourage all of our students to take Algebra 2 because of the rigor of that particular class helps prepare students for college or whatever it is they decide to pursue once they graduate from high school. Here are the specific graduation requirements for Keller ISD. Students are required to take four credits of English Language Arts. The specific courses that are required are English 1, English 2, English 3, and an advanced English course. For social studies, students are required to take four credits. World Geography, World History, U.S. History, one semester of Government, and one semester of Economics. Students are also required to take four years of math. These credits include Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and an advanced math. And just a reminder that students who graduate on the Distinguished Level of Achievement Plan are required to take Algebra 2 as one of their math courses. For science, they're required to take Biology, IPC, Physics, or Chemistry, which are lab-based physical science courses, and then two advanced sciences. So I want to point out that for the science, students have a choice between the IPC, physics, and chemistry, but please note that some students will take their biology and then take a year of chemistry, a year of physics, and then an advanced science. It truly depends on what a student is interested in pursuing. Another point that's extremely important is that students are also asked to pass end of course exams or star exams in certain subjects. So starting with English language arts, students are required to take and pass the English 1 and English 2 star tests. For social studies, students are required to take and pass the U.S. history star test. For math, students are required to take and pass the Algebra 1 star test. And for science, students are required to take and pass the biology star test. Additional requirements for graduation include world languages. Students need two credits of the same world language. An example would be a student taking French 1 and French 2. For physical education, students are required to earn one credit before graduation. Physical education has different options that students can use. A student may use an athletics course, a physical education course. There are some fine arts options available in Keller ISD. Whichever option a student uses, they are still required to have a total of one credit prior to graduation. Fine arts also has multiple options for our students as well. 
Fine Arts requires one credit prior to graduation. When we think of Fine Arts, we think of choir, theater art, art, band, and many more options that our students can choose from. Students are also required to take a 21st century skill class. The most common 21st century skill class that our students will take is professional communications, and they're required to earn 0.5 credit in professional communications or their 21st century skill. And then finally, students are required to take elective courses, which are typically courses within their endorsement or specific area of study. And we'll talk more about the endorsements later. Students are required to have 5.5 credits of endorsement related electives. Something else that's worth noting are our performance acknowledgements. Performance acknowledgements are outstanding achievement in specific areas. These distinctions will be included on our high school transcripts and can potentially place students in a better position for successful entry into college and or the workforce. Examples of areas where students can earn performance acknowledgements are dual credit courses or earning an associate's degree while in high school, bilingualism and biliteracy, college readiness exams such as the PSAT, SAT, or ACT, AP exam scores, or students who earn a state, nationally, or internationally recognized business or industry certificate or license. One of the things that we recognize in Keller ISD is that students have multiple options once they graduate from high school. Some students may want to attend a four-year college or university, some students may want to attend a two-year college. Some students may want to attend a, a trade or skill-based school. And some students may want to work right after high school. However, no matter the option that our students choose, is that what we encourage our students to do in Keller ISD is to take the most rigorous courses possible. And so what four-year universities typically want is a schedule that is full of rigor. Rigor can mean different things. It could mean taking the most advanced courses that a student would be successful in, or it could mean taking some of your endorsement courses that a student is interested in pursuing a career in. Remember when we talk about four-year colleges and universities, two-year colleges, trade schools, that admission requirements vary among schools. It is always best to check with your school to be sure, and that research can start any time in your high school education. Earlier in the presentation, we mentioned endorsements because students graduate foundation with an endorsement. Here are some examples of the endorsements that students can earn in Keller ISD. Arts and Humanities, Business and Industry, Public Services, and STEM. In addition, Multidisciplinary is an option for our students. If you take a look at the endorsements, these endorsement areas offer opportunities for students to explore areas of interest, career-related or activity-related. Students select their endorsement their eighth grade year. And once they select that endorsement their eighth grade year, they create a four-year plan that outlines the courses that students will need in order to complete that endorsement. So let's take a look at a student's sample four-year plan. If you take a look at this four-year plan, you'll notice that the student's grade level is in the left-hand column and the graduation requirements are on the top. Starting with English, this student has decided to take English 1 Pre-AP, English 2 Pre-AP, AP English 3, and AP English 4. In order to satisfy the math requirement, freshman year, the student starts off in Pre-AP Geometry. What this means is this student satisfied the Algebra 1 requirement prior to entering high school. Sophomore year, the student took Algebra 2 Pre-AP, then Pre-Calculus Pre-AP, and then will take an advanced math senior year. 
for science requirements, biology pre-AP, chemistry pre-AP, physics 1 AP, and an advanced science class. The social studies requirements, world geography pre-AP, world history AP, US history AP, AP government and AP economics. And remember, the government and economics courses are each one semester. Now, in the next column, we can take a look at the student's endorsements and pathway courses that he or she is taking. Freshman year, intro to engineering design, then engineering science, digital electronics, and then practicum in STEM. Next, under the first elective column, the student is taking their required 21st century skill, which is the professional communications, and that course is one semester. And so the student decided to take touch systems data entry second semester, art one, and then two other pathway courses, digital electronics and practicum in STEM. The next courses that the student takes, athletics, Spanish one pre-AP, Spanish 2 pre-AP, and Spanish 3 pre-AP. This gives the student a complete four-year plan. One of the things that we would like to point out is that there are several examples of rigor in this student's schedule. For example, the student has elected to take pre-AP courses and AP courses. In addition, the student has decided to explore an engineering pathway which is a very rigorous pathway for the student to take. And another example of rigor in the student's schedule is that although two years of a world language meets the graduation requirement, this student decided to take three years and took pre-AP Spanish three. And so let's take a look at a second example of a four-year plan. This student is taking English one English 2, and as you can see in his or her junior year, English 3 dual credit and English 4 dual credit. For math, this student is starting algebra his or her freshman year, then is taking geometry, algebra 2, and pre-calculus. And remember, algebra 2 is required for a student to graduate on the Distinguished Level of Achievement plan. This student is taking pre-AP biology, pre-AP chemistry, AP physics, and then has an advanced science class. For the social studies graduation requirements, world geography, world history, US history dual credit, dual credit government, and dual credit economics. This student is exploring a medical pathway. And so those pathway courses that this student will be taking are medical terminology, health science theory, anatomy and physiology, and practicum in health science. In addition, this student has elected to take professional communications in order to satisfy his or her 21st century skill. Because professional communications is a one semester course, this student has decided to take touch systems data entry to complement the next semester. This student for world language is interested in German. And so he or she is taking German one and German two. And as you can see, also taking German three. Next, the student is a student who has decided to enroll in band. And so the student is taking band one, band two, band three, and band four. One of the things we would like to point out is that fall semester of band one and band two will satisfy the student's PE graduation requirements. This student also has several examples of rigor in his or her schedule. The first example is that the student has decided to take dual credit courses throughout his or her high school career. And dual credit courses are courses that students are able to take in order to earn both high school and college credit at the same time. In addition, you'll notice that the student has chosen to take pre-AP and AP courses as well. And just like the first student that we spoke about, this student has decided to take three years of a world language as opposed to the required two. So now let's take a look at the registration timeline. I've mentioned several times during this presentation that students are going to select their area of endorsement and create their four-year plans in the eighth grade. So here's some important dates 
for families to know. Between November 30th and December the 4th, students are going to make their endorsement pathway choices. Between December the 7th and December the 18th, students are going to create four-year plans. Between January the 19th and January the 29th, our high school counselors are going to be on middle school campuses and helping them register for their ninth grade courses. Every high school campus is going to have a different registration schedule and you'll receive that information shortly. Parents will also receive an email notification in February about signing off on students' four-year plans. College and career readiness. Students have a wealth of choices for their plans after high school. KISD is committed to providing them with an education that prepares them for whatever they choose to do. For more information on college, career, or military readiness, please take a look at our resources on our new CCMR webpage. One of the things that we also want to point out is that every high school campus now has a college career and military readiness center. This is a great addition to our high school campuses because it helps our students prepare for college, military, or the workforce. It provides college testing information. It provides assistance with college applications, college visits, and financial aid information. We are so excited to have your eighth grade students join us at high school next year. And please do not hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.